Today I'm going to show you how to use a foul brood field test kit. Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Gwynne Griffith here. We talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today, I just gone through some bees, found a bit of a dodgy frame in one hive. I'm 90% confident it's not foul brood, but I am going to test it. I've got the kit here, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you how to use these tests. Now, normally I carry these in the truck. Today, I didn't have it, so I've had to take this frame back home with me keep this away from other bees and hopefully fingers crossed we're not going to have anything so comes with bottle of solution little scoop a pipette instructions and the actual test bit itself so the first thing we want to do is we want to scoop up a bit of dodgy lava. So this is an EFB test. So I'm pretty sure that's nothing. This looked a little bit yellowy to me. Make sure that falls off in there. Right, that's in there. That bit of lava in there. You've got to shake this for 20 seconds. Right. And we're going to take the pipette. And we're going to take a bit of that solution. So you squeeze the pipette in, creates a vacuum, sucks that solution back up. And then we're going to open the field kit. Because the whole point of this test is you can do it there and then. And we're just going to put not too much in it, just about that much. One more maybe. And then we've got to wait. Always nerve wracking this bit. And we'll see the solution coming down here. And if there's two lines, then that's a positive. But if there's a line on the C, that's a negative. And that's what we're hoping for, just to get the one line on the C. That's the solution coming down now. No line on the T yet. There's the control line. So that was a negative, good news. This frame or hive didn't have foul brood, but it's always worth checking. Sometimes stuff can look like foul brood and it's not. And with this test kit, you can just double check, make sure that it's not foul brood. And they're not that expensive. And if you're a bee farmer and you, you join Dash, then you can be uh, certified yourself to resolve and monitor your own disease levels here at Gwynne Griffith we're DASH accredited so we're trained up in finding and dealing with foul brood we've only had one case ever since we've started keeping bees off foul brood and since having that one case of foul brood last year it's just made me a lot more paranoid 
and I'm actively looking for it, especially on this site where this has come from is where I had foul brood last year. So I'm just extra vigilant on that site. And if I see anything I don't quite like the look of, I'm gonna use one of these test kits. And th if this was confirmed today, then the first thing I'd have to do was phone the bee unit, notify them where the disease was, what site, for them to be able to search the other apiaries within the area. So hopefully you've gained a little bit of uh, knowledge, some help with finding fowl brood or testing for fowl brood. Hopefully you'll never have to do this, but just in case you do, then you know how to do it. And thanks for watching the video.